Hi X-Force fans, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, let's talk about our programmers. It's been 9 years since our first super programmer VVDI Prog was launched. Its powerful data reading and writing capabilities have been widely praised by Autumn Walksmiths. However, as the functional requirements continue to rise to accommodate increasing car models and the VVDI PROC upgrade cannot fully meet these needs due to hardware limitations, we carefully developed and launched the second generation MultiProc, whose functions have been greatly upgraded, even more powerful. Newly added support for ECU reading, writing and clone, TCU reading, writing and clone, vehicle engine data calculation and processing, and automated chip batch programming. And it supports verification. Well now, let's go through what's in the box. You'll first see an instruction manual. Next is Multiprog. Here is the IC locking holder, used to lock the chip holder and read the chip. This is magnetic shield, which uses a magnetic design and can be quickly removed to replace other types of adapter boards. Next are touchscreen and status indicator. It will indicate power and the working status. The red button on the side is the power switch. There are abundant interfaces at the back, including a power socket, PE grounding plug, ISP ECU DOIP interface, reserved automation programming interface, RJ45 network port, USB A interface, and USB interface. For details on how to use these interfaces, you can follow our upcoming tutorials. We'll skip them here. There is also a box of accessories coming with the device. Open it, and you will see a large package of cables. This one is the MCU solder cable, which is used to read and write MCU chip or automotive module data. Then you'll see an MCU DB15 cable, which is used to read and write automotive module data with a solder-free adapter. This one is an ECU solder cable that's used to read and write ECU and other module data. Then here is an ECU DB15 cable, which is used to read and write ECU and other module data with a solder-free adapter. This one is an OBD cable. With it, we can connect the vehicle OBD port and the device to directly read and write ECU and other module data. There is also a USB cable and 220 volt power cord. The last one is a USB Wi-Fi network card. Open the next package you'll see ECU cable plugs in it, which are compatible with various types of ECUs and facilitate the connection of ECU pins. This is the power adapter. Then you'll see two adapter boards. This one is the VH20 interface adapter board, which is used for interface self-test. This one is the VH23 interface adapter board, which is used to solder, read, and write related chips. Besides these two boards, there is also an adapter board installed in the device by default. The VH13 interface adapter board can lock various IC sockets and DIP packaged memory chips, which is convenient for the direct reading and writing of chips. Well, I've covered everything in the box of Multiprog, so many accessories and interfaces are designed to achieve more and more practical functions. In the follow-up video, we'll also introduce the functions and usage of the Multiprog in detail. If you're interested, please follow us. See you in the next video.